So I've been sent over here by three people, both Wade Wallace from Cycling Tips, my wife Veronica back home who's seen this online, and DC Rainmaker has sent me a message today saying, Shane, come and check this out. So when someone like Ray says, come and check it out, I've got to come and check it out. What we've got here is a prototype drivetrain here that has no chain. I've never seen anything like this. We have roller bearings in here. We have a... All I can think of is a, uh, a carrot grater up the back here that's been heavily engineered to provide the, uh, the drivetrain of a bike. Now on bikes and with all the power meter testing we do, you know which, which gear you're in can affect your efficiency of your drivetrain up to probably 2.5%, maybe 5% with a dirty chain, cross chaining. This gets rid of all of that. So I've been over here chatting to the guys about uh, this technology and uh, the innovation they've brought to the bike. and. Uh, it's a very, very interesting tech. Now it's not silent. I thought it would be silent, and this is, might be the holy grail of matching this with, say, the Kicker Core or the Kicker 18. But it's it's not silent. You can hear a bit of a bit of noise there. But you've got everything you'd expect, freewheeling, and it's actually quite smooth. There's no real chunkiness at all through there. <clears throat> the gear changing in the near future will be provided by moving this in and out. But this is only a prototype at the moment, so we don't quite have that. I did overhear the guys talking how long it takes to actually machine that out of one piece of, uh, I guess it's aluminium here. It's about eight hours or so to machine this. This is uh, a little showpiece in itself. And uh, good for salads as well, for the family. So I guess in coming up with that idea of making a super efficient drivetrain is the engineering problems I'll have with this. Now, one of the things I was talking to Jason about here from Ceramic Speed was a typical chain just simply pulls on the uh, the chain rings this way, or the cassette this way. Now what this will want to do, given the design, it's, it's going to want to jump outwards. So they're going to have to reinforce the bike entirely. So when you come up with one single little idea, the problem solving is going to be absolutely massive. And another thing I have to point out as well is the surface or contact area in here. Now typically on a chain, you have a chain wrapped around the entire cog set. You have a lot of surface area of that chain pulling through. On here, I think we could pretty much get this to jump out of gear with about probably just a few hundred watt sprint at really high torque. So there's an engineering issue in itself. But for something like that, an e-bike, maybe a Tourer, I'm not quite sure this is ready for racing just yet. There's a lot of issues for them to solve. But uh, I think for innovation, this has to be one of the most interesting things I've seen here. They've even had to redesign the entire bottom bracket down here. If the camera can get in there, which is probably not going to happen, but they've got a full reinforced bottom brake. I'd love to get one of these and take it fully apart. But I'd also love to see these guys and, uh, in about maybe 6 to 12 months and see where they can take this. Very, very cool tech. So getting this down to a 99% efficiency or up to a 99% efficiency, this has applications far beyond just the outdoor bike. I mean, I'm thinking indoor bikes, I'm thinking e-bikes where they can place motors. Really, really cool stuff. So I thought I'd, uh, I'd cover this after being referred over here by three independent people that I trust. Super cool tech, very, very unique, and I love to see someone bunking the system, I guess, trying something different for drivetrain efficiency. Next question, I guess, is how would we put this on our indoor trainers? It's a problem for these guys to solve. I'm keen to see what they get up to. Okay, we'll leave it there for today. If you like what we've got and what you're seeing here, hit subscribe below, or hit that like button, and just uh, leave us a comment. What do you think about this, uh, this new design of no chain? All right, thanks for watching, we'll see you soon. I mean, it, yeah, it was... It was